City planner Paul Logue has recently presented about some of the corridors in Athens and what the 2040 comprehensive plan entails for those areas of Athens. But to give Athenians a better understanding of the comprehensive plan as a whole, Logue came to the office of TGC to discuss the 2040 comprehensive plan. So we started our comprehensive planning process in 2017 with our visioning in late 2017. Uh, we included online survey work, we had some public meetings to better understand what the community thinks of Athens and where they think Athens should be. We're taking a 20 year look at our community starting in 2020 and going out to 2040. And within that we've got a lot of different um, topics that our community wants us to study and so we've been doing that all year into 2018. And um, then we're also looking at the geography of Athens and how we can plan Athens as a land use. So we're looking at the neighborhoods of Athens, we're looking at the corridors of Athens. We've got uh, four or five neighborhoods that are, um, uh, that are very different from each other. And then we have economic development corridors where we do our shopping and where we go to work and where we buy things and where we go to, um, uh, go to the doctors and buy cups of coffee and things like that. So we're looking at all of those things. Um, and we are, at the end of 2018, we are, we are very close to having all of the information collected. We've, we've had a lot of meetings with our community to better understand the details of uh, their experience living in neighborhoods and, and how our corridors operate. And as we shift from 2018 into 2019, um, we are more or less wrapping up most of the information gathering and listening to our members, our stakeholders, and moving into setting up the plan. So we'll be identifying what are the key issues and then looking at the key recommendations for how to better solve those issues. And then um, that'll, that's what I'm working on right now, moving into the first quarter of 2019 with a goal of having a draft plan prepared for the community in March or April of 2019. The city planner went on to discuss where citizens can find information on the plan. Yeah, we, we, we have, um, we, we've been doing several different strategies with which to give, get people engaged. Um, we, have, uh, uh, we have an email marketing strategy that uh, anybody who's interested, they can contact me if they're not already on our email list and that, that way we provide updates to people. Once the draft is ready, uh, we'll be of course distributing that, posting that on the city's website, utilizing the city's Facebook and Twitter feeds to help get that out. We'll do a public presentation of course to talk about some of the key findings and then we'll allow that draft to be open for public scrutiny for at least 30 days probably probably two months and within that time frame people give us comments on on what they what they liked or what they think is important but also what they think we missed or what they think we got wrong and then hopefully they'll give us some information about ways we can change that or their thoughts on it and then once we have that draft then we'll go we'll, after we hear all the public comment we could do public review and, and, and revisions, and then we'll present that, um, a new draft, back to the city's planning commission and the city council, requesting adoption. Logue also discussed how the plan will be implemented. Some of it will be, um, we'll be asking for um, flexibility and changes to city codes and regulations, so those would be things that we'd be working closely with some city, city boards and commissions and very closely with the city administration and Athens City Council. Anything we're dealing with a code, uh, Athens City Code, all of those are legislative changes, so we'll work very closely with our city council to, to see if they're willing to make some changes. And then there's other things where we can do, um, some of them are streetscape improvements that would be uh, working closely with the city's engineering department, uh, working closely with the mayor and our safety director, working closely with our code office and things like that. And then there's also some recommendations that we're hoping uh, that our boards and commissions can take ownership of. So things like sustainability, historic preservation, our Shade Tree Commission, uh, and some of the other uh, Arts Commission, all of those are groups that are, are related to the topics that we heard in our plan or through our visioning that our communities really uh, think is important. And so we're we'll working with them, working with our Disabilities Commission, working with Ohio University, and a lot of other organizations to try to move some of those things forward.